is the survivalist. So it's been quite a, a dour show so far in terms of reviews. Yeah, we've not been. Let's pick things up. We've a not bit. been sort of spoiled at all, have we? So no. hopefully the survivalist can upturn it. So the survivalist is a film directed and written by Stephen Fingledon, uh, basically set in who won the out uh, who was sorry nominated for the outstanding debut at the Baftas. Really? Oh, mm-hmm. there you go. Excellent. Well done to him. So it's set in a post-apocalyptic world in a time of great starvation. The titular survivalist lives in a small plot of land hidden deep in the forest in Ireland. Uh, he lives off the grid only using his wits and his primal instincts hence the survivalist because he's very much sort of in tune with his, his tribal sort of you know, classic early human instincts very much a, a man of the nature now uh, a starving woman and a girl that she says is his do- her daughter come for refuge init- initially seeking trade and, and like board and bed however they might not trust him and he accepts them into their life however you know it might not go on because obviously in this new world it's all about tension and what's going to happen and if you can really trust who people are in this new world I was not expecting this film to be so quiet hmm. it is it, it's a very very quiet film at there's times. no speech for about 15 minutes oh yeah absolutely until, until the new until the other characters move in uh-huh. uh, it, it really until certain chess pieces are brought into play there is a lot of very, sort very of nice. very yeah, nice yeah there, there is a lot of moving about uh, as the plot develops and as the story strands sort of pick and thread their way through into the, the ongoing drama and tension and it really does feel like you are watching a sort of like like a documentary almost on on how the world died mm. at some points because it is so quiet and I, and I knew it wasn't I knew I knew it wasn't going to be massively dialogue heavy but there are so many moments of breath where you can really sort of muse on 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 this new world and just how horribly dire it is I know I know I know a big point that you make which I let you get it was about the the sort of comparisons to what. Hollywood thinks a post-apocalypse would look like yeah. in terms of young adult fiction and certain things like that. But in the survivalist, it, it's it's grimy, it's 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 very depressing. I mean, the first minute, especially to show them yeah. how he lives, I, yeah. I did not pick on. I mean, it's not a spoiler to see it. In the first thirty seconds, I just clicked onto it the other night. Is that he has used? I, I thought he was dragging a dead body to a grave to bury, like to honor him. But he's actually dragging him to a pit. So you can use them as as compost to grow things. <laughs> yeah. A dead body, and yeah. a naked man's dead body, and it, it, it's it's really grim. And that's just the realities of the world because it is a post apocalypse. It's not going to be sunshine and rainbows and Mad Max and Furiosa. It's going to be one of the poster quotes is it's like Mad Max. <laughs> it's not though, is it? It's, <laughs> not. it's, like, it's like Mad Max, but like. Yeah. A post-apocalypse is going to yeah. be like The Last of Us. It's going to be about trusting people and fighting for the last supplies mm. and, and a brutal, brutal world. And that's what the survivalist captures. And it's a really, really tense, um, still beautiful though, mm-hmm. still, still yeah, strikingly yeah. beautiful post-apocalypse that really grips you from start to finish and, and does not let you go. And I think honestly, it is one of the favourites of the year for me because it, it, it tells the post-apocalypse story in a way that so many films have been frightened or have just simply refused to do so in the past few years outside of sort of indie law. And I really, I really think it's a, it's a great accomplishment for Stephen Fingleton who, who wrote and directed this. Mm. And he, if he has won that BAFTA, as you see it, thoroughly Nom- deserved, nominated. nominated, but yeah, thoroughly deserved. Yeah. Because it is a, a very intense, surprisingly beautiful, and and just a really gripping watch. This is what dystopia looks like. Yeah. This, this is not Hunger Games. This is like, <laughs> this is the realities of it all. I mean, there's one scene in particular that uh, we're not going to talk about on air because it's like nearly four o'clock. No. It's very, it's very graphic and uh, and. Mm very uneasy and it made me very very squeamish I uh, we see a lot of stuff and I've kind of been desensitised to mm. this kind of graphic activity but it involves Mia Goth who was uh, in the for Maniac oh, I believe yeah, yeah. Um, well, it, and, uh, she, and she's a very promising young um, actress British and yeah th- this this scene in question is kind of it, it sets the whole tone. You kind of get the idea. It's one of those scenes where it would have its very own sort of description yeah. on the title card. I mean, we watched the, it on video the, on demand yeah. on BFI player, yeah. so we didn't see the title card. But the worst bit about it is the juxtaposition <laughs> of the, the you know the, it cuts between this part and then a, a rabbit getting caught. Yeah, and it's yeah it, yeah. It, but it, it, it's, it's very uneasy. But uh, the, the whole the, the film as a whole is very dark and very quiet. But it's got this sort of quiet beauty about it, which I, I agree. Yeah uncompromisingly grim but still an intense beauty which it should be it, it is excellent it, yeah. it's honestly a great great film uh, another stupid question is this your film of the week <laughs> I mean if yeah it is yeah. I mean I know as much as, as my heart pains me to not give it to the forest mm. this is my film of the week survivalist ah uh, yeah I would only buy the forest on blu-ray to throw off a wall I think I said this last week about something else that's just a waste of a blu-ray case it is, if, you need a pa- if you need a paper with an expensive paper paper mm-hmm. Uh, that's it for this week's Spark Film Show. Tune in again next Friday for Hail.